Uh, welcome back to my live stream. My name is Francis, and uh, today I will making something very special. I'm making a lovely Swiss roll. You know, it's called a Swiss roll, or you can call it Swiss roll cake. So I'll be making that today, and of course, it's very easy. I'll be using just four basic, you know, ingredients to make this lovely, you know, recipe called the Swiss roll. So this is Cook with Chef Francis, live on YouTube. If this is your first time watching my live stream or my video, you know, and you've not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button, and of course, Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss the latest, you know, from Coco Chef Francis. So my name is Francis, and of course, I'm going to get started now to make my lovely Swiss roll. Of course, when we're making a Swiss roll, we need a strawberry jam, you know, to, you know, I'm going to top the strawberry jam. Of course, you know, strawberries are very nice. I'm going to finish up with garnish. You know, you can garnish your strawberries, you can use blueberries if you want to, it's up to you, my friends. So uh, I'll be using self-raising flour to make my lovely Swiss roll. So now my friends, I'm gonna pop, you know, my lovely recipes on the table. I'm gonna get started, you know, right away. So sit back, let's enjoy. Thank you very much. I'll be right back in a seconds. Thank you. So my friends, I'm back now. So I'm gonna pop my, you know, strawberry jam on the wax surface. That's the strawberry jam. I'll be using a uh, only fine brown sugar. But of course, my friends, you can use uh, your uh, white, you know, caster sugar, that's all right. Or your white, you know, granulated sugar. This is a very simple recipe. What we just need is just, uh, you know, 
plain flour, you know, our sugar, and of course, we need eggs. I'm going to grab four eggs. So my friends, I need just four eggs. So I'm going to set that aside. And of course, I need my bowl. So I'm going to I'm going to pop that one on the table. So I'm going to weigh my flour. So I'm going to weigh my flour now, my friends. So my friends, I'm going to get started right away. I have all my recipes on the table, all my ingredients on the table. But I'm going to say this. Uh, uh, you can check out my, uh, you know, my uh, playlist. You know, when you check out the dessert playlist, you're going to find that I made um, the coconut roll. is quite different. You know, when you're making the coconut roll, you know, it's a little bit different from, from the Swiss roll. Same shape, but different recipe. So you can check that out, how to make you know coconut roll right on my video you can check down my this is playlist that's all right my friends you know my friends i'll be making lots of um you know live streams and of course now i'm making the um, strawberry you know the swiss roll with the strawberry jam you know you could use any jam you like if you want to but you know the most you know popular is using the strawberry jam and now my friends, if you check out my live stream, you find out that I made lots of live streams, you can check that out. I made different live streams on how to make, you know, cakes, biscuits, shortbread, bread. I made different kind of bread on my live stream. You can check out the uh, chia butter bread, the baguette, you know, you can check out, you know, wholemeal, the wholemeal bread, you know, using the wheat flour. And of course, my friends, you can check out the... Uh, the shortbread I made, I made shortbread cookies, you know, with the wheat flour and with the one with the normal flour. And of course, my friends, I've made, you know, uh, different kind of cakes. I made, the, uh, you know, this Eugenia sponge cake. And of course, yesterday, two days ago, I made carrot cake. So you can check that out on my upload. You find out that I made carrot cake. It's absolutely super moist, you know, super moist and, you know, super gorgeous. You know, and super fluffy, my friends. So, but today I will be making a Swiss roll. Of course, Swiss roll is very easy, but hey, my friends, we need to be careful when making Swiss roll. It, it's easy to make it because it doesn't take time. Straight in the oven, about six to ten minutes, ready in the oven. And of course, you know what I mean, my friends. We need to roll it out, but we need to be careful. We need to add our strawberries as well. But you know, I'm going to be showing you the technique on how to make it an easiest way. An easier way to make this lovely sweet roll. We don't want to break our, you know, our pastry. So we're gonna be careful when we're doing it, my friends. So, <laughs> my friends, today is gonna to be really wonderful. It's gonna be a short video, so we're not gonna take lots of time. You know, I'm gonna make this lovely uh, sweet roll, and of course, I'm gonna allow it to cool down, and of course, I'm gonna enjoy it, my friends. So, my friends, thanks for tuning into this. You know, lovely channel, and of course, if it's your first time watching my channel, and of course, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so by clicking the subscribe button. Of course, turn on the bell so you don't miss the latest from Cookie Chef Family. And of course, my friends, you can check out my other channel. I have another channel called the Nigerian Food Only. Of course, for those who are interested in you know in you know cooking Nigerian dishes, you can check that out, my friends. You know, but right here on Cookie Chef Francis, I cook yummy dishes around the world. I put dishes from Africa, Asia, Europe, America, all over the world, my friends. Lovely dishes. If you check out my videos, you find out that I made dishes from all over the world. You know, I made dishes from India, dishes from the UK, from France, Italy, 
many of my friends, you know, Nigeria and the rest, you know, lots of videos all over the world, my friends. Check my channel out, you're gonna find out, my friends. I have different playlists, I told you, my friends. I have soup of the day playlists, you can check out the kind of soup. I made cauliflower soup, I made, you know, I made uh, the carrot, you know, butter bean soup. I made the leek and potato soup, my friends. You know, I made the mushroom soup. I made lots of soup, my friends. You can check that out as well. And for those who want to learn how to make, you know, different kind of sauces and dresses, yes, this channel, my friend. I made some of those right there on my playlist. I'm still gonna make more and pop it there on my playlist, my friends. And for those who love um, desserts and you know, for cakes, biscuits, and all that, this is the channel, my friend. So keep watching every day and keep watching my videos. Share my videos. Give it a like, you know. My friends, I'm gonna get started now. So I'm gonna weigh my flower, you know, and straight away make my lovely, you know, sweet job. So this is Cuckoo Chef Francis, live on YouTube. And my name is Francis. And of course, I'm gonna get started straight away to make this lovely sweet job. So what I need, my friends, I need flour. Of course, we don't need to add baking powder. So I'm gonna be adding just flour, so I'll be using the self raisin flour. So I'm using the self raisin flour, you know, made from British wheat. So I'm gonna set my uh, lovely scale. I'm gonna tar that at zero, and of course, weigh my lovely flour. So I'm gonna weigh that now. So that's, you know, abs absolutely 100, you know, I need 100 grams of plain flour. So I'm going to set my flour aside. That's what I need, my friends. Just that one. Now, my friends, I'm going to... I'll put that away. I don't need that anymore, my friends. So now, my friends, I'm going to you know, beat my eggs, you know, but before I do that, my friends, I'm going to turn all, you know, water on, on the hob, so I'm going to use that, you know, to, um, to blend my sugar, so we're going to wait for the water to, to boil away. So when the water boils away, I'm gonna use that, you know, to mix my lovely. So let's leave that to heat up while we wait, because I'm, go I'm gonna add my eggs right there on the heat. So I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pop my sugar, I'm gonna weigh my sugar. I need 100 grams of sugar, so I'm gonna weigh that now. Yeah, I'm gonna weigh my sugar now, my friend. So that's too much. I need 100 grams of sugar, my friends. So now, my friends, I have 100 grams of sugar. So I'm using the unrefined brown sugar. You can use any sugar, my friends. That's all right. So I'm gonna set that aside. So now, my friends, you know, I'm gonna uh, add eggs straight into the sugar. So I'm gonna add four eggs. That's one, my friends. Two, my friends. Three eggs. And four. So I'm using four eggs, my friends. Four good eggs. That's what I'm using, my friends. 
gonna be a lovely cake. It's gonna be a lovely sweet roll, my friends. So now, my friends, I have this lovely, you know, mixture with me. I got four eggs and, of course, sugar. Four eggs and 100 grams of sugar right into this lovely bowl. So I'm gonna do now, my friend. I'm gonna pull the eggs away. So now, my friends, uh, I have my lovely, you know, my lovely um, sugar and egg right here. So I'm gonna grab a wig. So now, my friends. I'm gonna mix the egg and sugar together, you know, with my wigs. Can you see that, my friends? Very nice, my friends. So I'm gonna keep doing that. So now, my friends, I'm gonna pop that, you know, I'm gonna put that away. I don't need any more, my friends. So my friends, my lovely friends, what I'm going to do now, uh, you know my friends, I have, you know, eggs and sugar right here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to pop this lovely bowl, you know, on the boiling water. That's the boiling water. So I'm going to pop that on the boiling water. You know, I want the heat right there, you know. To melt my lovely sugar. So that's what I'm doing, my friends. So the steam from the water is gonna is gonna melt my lovely sugar. So I'll I'll keep doing that my friends. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that now close in the next one minute. So I'm gonna pop it here for you to see. You can see this thing from you know from that. That's absolutely lovely, my friends. Super gorgeous. My friends, you can see it's almost melting. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn the hob off. I'm gonna clean my work surface. I want it super clean, my friends. So my friends, I'm going to show you what's going on. You can see that my friends, the sugar is already melting, my friends. So I'm going to show you now what I'm doing. You can see that's the steam. So I'll just keep doing that, my friends, you know. Until the sugar melts. Very nice, my friends. It's almost melting, my friends. 
So I have my sugar. I told you, my friends, you can use white caster sugar or, you know, the white granulated sugar. It's up to you, my friends. You can use that. What I'm using, the uh, unrefined brown sugar. So I'll keep you know, stirring that, my friends. You can see it's almost ready, my friends. So remember my friends, I have four eggs. It's very simple to make squeeze roll. So I have four eggs right in here. And of course I have, you know, 100 grams of sugar. It's gonna be absolutely lovely, my friends. Almost ready, my friends. It's going to be ready in the next five minutes. You can see that, you know, the sugar is almost dis disappearing. There's no traces of sugar right in there. Well mixed. can see my friends almost ready so now my friends is ready so I'm gonna you know pop that on the table and what I'm gonna do now my friends I'm gonna add my lovely, you know, self-raising flour, bit by bit on this lovely, you know, right into this lovely flour. So I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, you know, pop the flour in bits. And of course, I'm gonna give it a quick stir. The remaining flour. So I'm gonna keep stirring my lovely flour and my lovely egg. Now my friends, you can see I have a lovely mixture. So what I'm gonna do, I'll keep, you know, mixing that. You know what I mean, my friends? I wanna, I wanna get the lovely, you know, texture. Tastes really good. You can see that my friends, almost ready my friends. So now my friends, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna 
preheat my oven. I'm gonna preheat my oven now. So I'm gonna turn the oven on. So I'm gonna preheat my oven now, my friends. So now my friends, I'm going to turn my oven on. So you can set your oven to uh, 180 to maximum of 220, that's alright. 180, 200, that's alright. So I'll be using about, you know, I'll be using about 200. That's alright my friends. It should be ready in 10 minutes. So my friends, I'll be right back in just a second. Thank you very much. So now my friends, I need, you know, a lovely flat tray, that's what I'm going to use, so I'm going to use that, I have a lovely mixture, so that's my flat tray, and now my friends, I'm going to uh, add the baking powder, uh, packing paper, on my lovely tray. So I'm going to pop the baking paper right there. Yeah. That's going to be enough, my friends. So I'm going to use that now. I'm going to call that. So I'm going to line my tray with parchment paper my friends that's what I'm gonna do my friends I'm gonna line that line that with parchment paper and of course my friends I'm gonna add olive oil you know so I'm gonna grease my you know pan the baking paper with olive oil of course you don't want to add too much so i'm going to brush that with olive oil my friends we don't want our lovely swizzle to stick on the tray so what i'm going to do i'm just going to brush it with olive oil so it doesn't stick my friends So now my friends, I'm done, you know, brushing my lovely, uh, you know, parchment paper. So I'm going to put that away, I don't need it anymore. You can use any kind of oil you like, my friend. You can use olive oil, you can use sunflower oil, you can use veg oil. No worries, my friends. Just, you know, grease the baking paper with oil. So it doesn't stick. So now my friends, I'm gonna spread you know everything on the uh, parchment paper. 
You know, my friends, we don't want to add, we don't want to make it too thick. If not, we're going to ruin it, my friends. So. So my friends, I'm going to spread that. So we don't want it too flat, we don't want it too thick. So we're going to... We want it about one centimeters. So this is gonna give us like four portions of Swiss roll. You know, my friends, just about four portions, four or five portions. That's all right, my friends. So now, my friends, you can see I'm spreading it. You know, all over. So we're going to have a long Swiss roll. Of course, my friends, it's going to double in size. So um, that's really nice. Tastes really nice, my friends. Lovely. Now, my friends, I'm going to pop it into the oven and leave it for about 10 minutes. So when I pop it into the oven, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set my timer. So now into the oven, my friends. You can see that, lovely, nice and lovely, my friend. Look at that. It looks absolutely nice, my friend. So I'm gonna pop that now straight into the oven. So now, my friends, I'm going to give it 10 minutes. So I'm using 190. You can use 180, you can use 200, it's up to you, my friends. So 10 minutes, I'm going to check it in 10 minutes. So my friends, I said uh, I'm making this lovely uh, Swiss roll. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add I'm going to top my lovely Swiss roll with strawberry jam. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to melt my jam because the jam is thick. So I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to melt it before I spread it. So I'm going to put it in a bowl and of course on the boiling water to melt. So when it melts, I will spread it all over our lovely pastry. So waiting for our pastries to be ready. So when it's ready, we're gonna have a nice, you know, flat pastry, which is about one centimeter thick. Of course, we don't want it too big, but when it's too big or too thick or whatever, it's not gonna roll very well, you know. So I, I still need another baking paper. Yeah, I need, I need a baking paper of the same size. So I'm gonna flip it over when it's ready. So what I'm gonna do, you know, when it's ready, I'm gonna remove it from the oven. I'll cool it, and when I cool it a little, I'll pop down the on it and I'll flip it over. You know, I'm ready to roll. So I'm gonna top with my lovely strawberry jam. So the sweet roll is very sweet dessert. It's a sweet dessert, and of course, it's just like your cake, but it's a nice roll very nice you know of course we want it round and perfect so i'm gonna garnish mine with blueberries you can i say you can use strawberries to garnish your own but i'm gonna what i'm gonna do i'm gonna garnish with strawberry jam 
and of course a little bit of blueberries on it so I have some blueberries any berries is alright my friends so I have a ramekin what I'm going to do I'm going to pop my ramekin right here so I'm going to fill my ramekin with strawberry jam And of course, my friends, you know, gonna... that's the strawberry jam. So I'm gonna pop some berries. I'm gonna wash my berries now, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna add that straight on the lovely, you know, my lovely dessert. So that is strawberry. So I'm gonna wash it now. Yeah, I just need some of those, not everything. So I'm gonna garnish with you know berries. So I'm using blueberries for garnishing. So my, now my friends, that's the berries. I want the berries. They are nice. So now my friends, I'm gonna add some lovely, you know, strawberries so I'm gonna do I'm gonna pop it on that I want to melt it of course you don't want to add you know berries that are too thick you want to melt it so that you can easily you know you know pop it on the lovely you know these are so i'm gonna check keep an eye on that i'm gonna check that now if it's almost ready yeah it's really growing it's absolutely nice my friends So I'll keep doing that. I want it to melt. It's almost melting, my friends. So my friends, doesn't take time, six minutes, 10 minutes. I have three minutes more. I'll take it out from the oven, three minutes. It's almost ready, my friends.
So my friends, uh, before we start making the Swiss roll, I'm going to explain everything from start to finish again, how I got to this very point. My friends, I said today, I'll be making a lovely Swiss roll, you know, a Swiss roll cake. And of course, it's a lovely dessert. You know, it's a sweet dessert, just like a cake. And it's really good, my friends. And of course, my friends, you know, if you're just, you know, first time watching this channel, and if not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so, you know, by clicking the subscribe button, and of course, turn on the bell, so you don't miss the latest, you know, from Cuckoo Chef Francis. So you don't miss the latest from Cuckoo Chef Francis, and of course, whenever I go live, you know, right on YouTube, you get notified when you turn on the bell. So my friends, you know, if you have missed most of my live streams and my newly uploads, please check them out right there on my homepage. You're gonna find out my, you know, upload and of course, you know, different playlists, the desert, live streams and all that. You're gonna find them there, over there. And of course, the soup of the day playlist, everything my friends, right there. Check them out, love the videos, watch them, they're really great. So my friends, I'm gonna continue with this lovely Swiss roll and I can perceive the aroma from the oven. Of course, my friends, when, you know, you are a chef, and of course, when you're in the kitchen and you notice the food is almost ready, of course, the aroma, you know, fresh aroma from the oven will notify you that your food is ready. So, the, uh, the pastry is almost ready. I'm gonna roll the pastry right on the table. Of course, I have my strawberry jam on the table, on, you know, on the hob. So what I'm gonna do, it's almost melted my friends. So that's the berries, you can see uh, the strawberry jam, I beg your pardon. That is strawberry jam, you know. I left it, you know, you know over boiling water. And of course, it's really melting. I'm gonna try it. Tastes really nice, my friend. So my my friends will have 30 seconds more. So um, it's ready now, my friends. So I'm gonna, you know. Put that away, I don't need that anymore, my friends. So I'm gonna turn that off. I don't need that anymore, my friends. So my friends, I have my berries for garnishing. I have strawberry jam and of course I have, you know, blueberries. Yeah. I'm gonna pop down the table now. So my friends, you can see it's really nice, nice and flat. So I'm gonna do now, my friends. I'm gonna top that with baking paper. And I'm gonna pop that on the on the top. I don't need that anymore, my friends. So 
So the pan is very hot, so I need to be careful, my friends. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna carefully flip that over. So I wanna flip that over, so I need to be careful, my friends, because I don't wanna break it, and of course. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sprinkle sugar on that. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of sugar on top. So I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of uh, ice and sugar as well. Adding sugar a little bit. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna quickly flip that over. And of course, my friends, yeah, it's very hot, so what I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna be careful. You know. So I flip that over gently. You know you want the you know the burnt parts to be out there. So now my friends I'm gonna quickly take that out. So now my friends, I'm gonna top that with uh, jam. That's really nice my friends. So I'm gonna spread jam all over. Very nice, my friends. Lovely. So now my friends, I have my lovely Swiss roll. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roll it.
carefully. You know, there's lots of jam, my friends. So I'm gonna, you know, take off some of those jam. That's about. There's lots of jam in there, my friends. You can see that, my friends. Lovely roll. So I'm going to leave that to stand. Then later, I'm going to remove the... Uh, I'm going to remove it just like this, you know. You can see that, my friends. Lots of jam in there, my friends. So I'm gonna do, you know, there's lots of jam all over the body. I'm gonna leave it like that to rest for some time. So when it's cool, when it's cool, I'm gonna slice them. So my friends, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean my work surface. Lots of jam in it on, on the surface. So my friends, uh, you see there's lots of jam <laughs> on the uh, Swiss roll, so we leave that. You know, you don't want to open it now. So, and of course you don't need to put it in the fridge, just leave it there. When you leave it, 
it's gonna have that shape. So when it has that shape, we're gonna slice it. I'm gonna slide it with my, you know, with my knife, and you're gonna see the inside. You know, it's a squeeze roll, so it's gonna be out of the pocket, my friends. You know, it's gonna be a lovely squeeze roll. So, but when we roll it, we need to be careful when rolling, of course. You don't wanna, you don't wanna allow your squeeze roll to cool. If your pastry cools down, and when you roll it, it's, it's gonna break. So that's why. You know, when, when when your pastry cools down, sorry, when your pastry is out from the oven, you need to quickly top it with strawberry jam or whatever jam you love, my friends. Just top it on it and roll it with the, uh, uh, with the lovely, you know, just roll it together with the, uh, you know, with the pat in the bowl. You could just, you know, do it with your hand gently. It's going to roll. It's not gonna break, but you need to be careful. That's why you need to use the paper, you know, to roll it. But you can see when I was doing mine, there was lots of jam, so it was really sticky. So I have to like use my hand quickly because, you know, and I did it and I rolled it. But of course, you know, the technique, you know, behind or behind this lovely Swiss roll is when it's out from the oven, the must be quick as possible. So apply the jam and of course roll out or you know roll on roll, roll it roll it and when you roll it my friends allow it to stand for some time when it cools down they're gonna stay together and become very hard for you to slice but if you check out my coconut cake, my coconut roll like did on my playlist, you find out that it was a different technique I used on that one. You know, I have to put that one in the fridge because it contains cheese and coconut. So you need to put that in the fridge. But this one you don't need to put in the fridge, my friends. Roll it, and when you roll it, set it aside, allow it to cool. And when it cools down, just slice it, my friends. And when you slice it, the essence of rolling it is called a Swiss roll. You know, when you roll, when you roll a Swiss roll or your coconut roll or whatever roll, or maybe your, you know, your chicken balotin, maybe your chicken stuff, you know, your chicken leg stuff with the um, stockings. You know, when you roll them, you know they are in there, isn't it? The, the stuffings are in there, so when you roll them, you're rolling the chicken with the stuffings. So when you slice with your knife, you're gonna find the stuffings right in there, you know, presenting the beauty, you know, making it beautiful. You know, your stuffings makes it beautiful for your feelings. And that's what we did for this Swiss roll. If you check out my thumbnail, you're going to find out the strawberries are right in there. So what you do when you roll, you make sure you roll it nice and tight. When you roll it that way, gently. And when you finish rolling, my friends, you're going to find out that the strawberries that you're using topping it, you know, it's going to be showing that it's going to give you a nice, a nice look. And of course, you're going to see it like a spiral shape or something. So that's the basics, you know, of you know, making your sweet roll. You can see, my friends, it's nice and tight. I made it nice and tight, and of course, like a cylinder. Going to roll into the cylinder, and of course, that's the cylinder. And you know, my friends, it's almost cold. So I'll give it ten more minutes. So in 10 minutes, my friend, I'm going to slice my lovely roll. Of course, my friend, you don't want to slice your roll when it's cold, when it's hot. So the roll needs to chill, it needs to cool down, you know, but you don't need to chill it. You don't need to refrigerate, just leave it there to cool down. And when it cools down, my friend, of course, you know what I mean, my friend, when it cools down, you're going to have something really amazing, you know, something gorgeous, something really nice. So my friends, you know, I'll be, 
I will make another live stream. Uh, this is a uh, Thursday. So I'm making another live stream on Saturday. And of course, it's going to be a lovely live stream on Saturday. So I'll be, I'll be doing that very early. And of course, I'll be making something, you know, really spectacular, something very nice, you know, something really different. You know what I mean, my friend? So keep your fingers crossed. You know, of course, I said, my friends, if you subscribe to this channel, just make sure you turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss the latest whenever I go live and of course whenever I upload a new video right here on YouTube you're gonna get a notification when you turn on the bell because when you turn on the bell you, you know you, you know what I mean it rings and of course you know your bell is turned on so but when you just subscribe without turning on the bell you might not get a notification whenever I go live or whenever I upload a new video so my friends thank you very much for watching I'm gonna be slicing my lovely Row in a couple of uh, uh, minutes. I'm gonna slice this, and of course, you know, I'm gonna show you how it came out. It's gonna be absolutely amazing, my friends. You know, I love, I love sweet row because it's really nice, my friends. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of icing sugar on it, of course. You know what I mean, my friends. You know, I want it nice and perfect. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of icing sugar on it. It's gonna be absolutely amazing, my friends. So, of course, when I slice my, you're gonna find some strawberry on it because I have some stains of strawberry on it. So, it doesn't really matter, my friends. Of course, it's all about strawberries and pastries, and we wanna enjoy it. We want something very nice, something really, looking really good. So, my friends, this is gonna be a lovely sweet I cannot wait to have it, my friends. You know. It's gonna be very nice. I love Shizu. Really good, my friends. So, my friends, I'm gonna say everything from start to finish again before I slide my Shizu. I'm gonna tell you what I did from the very start to the very be from the very beginning to the very end, how I got to this process and how I made this lovely Shizu. What I did, my friends, when I started, what I did was to weigh my flower. I weighed you know, 100 grams of self-raising flour. I weighed it and I set that aside in a separate bowl. In another bowl, what I did, I uh, weighed the sugar. So the sugar of flour, when you're making a Swiss roll, very easy, easy recipe, my friend. Sugar and flour is the same amount, my friends. Of course, if you want to make a baby Swiss roll, you can make 50 grams of sugar, 50 grams of flour, and of course your eggs are gonna be two. If you wanna make more Swiss roll, you increase you know, the number of eggs. But of course, I'm making a basic you know, spring roll for, you know, for, for four portions, four or five portions. So what we need to do, we need to weigh 100 grams of flour, which is self-raising flour. We use self-raising flour because we don't need to add baking powder. It's gonna rise by itself, self raising. You know, and you don't want to have, you don't want your pastry to have too many holes. So of course you want it perfect. But I love this Swiss roll. So what we need to do is just self raising flour, 100 grams. I set, I weigh that and I set that aside. And of course, my friends, I weigh my sugar 100 grams, and I set that aside, my friend. And of course, I was left with four eggs. So what I did. I broke four eggs and I added the eggs straight into the lovely, you know, sugar. And I took a wix, I whisked the egg and the sugar together. And when I was done, my friend, you know, I had, you know, a very nice mix, but not yet. So what I did. I pop my lovely egg and sugar mix, you know, straight onto, you know, a bowl of boiling water or a pot of boiling water. So actually I use this saucepan, you know, just like this, the egg and sugar was on this saucepan and the saucepan had, you know, a boiling water right in there. So I kept stirring 
and of course with the wigs and the sugar and uh, egg became well mixed and what I did was to add the flour in this so I kept using the wigs to beat it and eventually I had something very nice, something very smooth and something runny of course you don't want to have a thick pastry if you have a thick pastry you're going to ruin it you're not going to have a lovely sweet so what I did was to have a, a running pastry you know my friends so what I did my friends when that was ready I removed it from the uh, boiling water and I set that aside and I took some jam you know, I popped the jam right here on the boiling water and I wanted it to melt because I don't want to add too many jam so I want it to melt of course you don't want to add jam that is too thick you want it to spread all over so after adding the jam I melted it and I set it aside my friends so what I did again my friends you know I had my lovely mixture so I took a tray a big tray that tray that one that tray what I did was to line this tray with baking paper and I and I applied olive oil on the baking paper. I said my friends you can use any type of oil, you can use veg oil, you can use sunflower oil, my friends, no problem. So I pop the baking paper right on this lovely tray and I sprinkle olive oil on the tray and I took a brush and spread the oil all over the baking paper and my friends what next did I do I pop the mixture on this lovely tray and of course my friends I spread the mixture to almost the size of this tray because we want the mixture to be about one centimeter thick so what next did I do I pop this lovely mixture straight into the oven and I cook it you know for about 10 minutes at 200 degrees Celsius so after 10 minutes I brought out this lovely Swiss roll you know and I pop it on the table so what I did the mixture that was there you know already cooked I sprinkled sugar on it a little bit of sugar on it and I took another baking paper and I pop it on that and I flip it over and okay, what I did I flip it over and I set it aside and I laid it flat and I took my strawberry jam melted on the boiling water you can see my friends that was that's the boiling water and I top my lovely you know pastry with the strawberry jam you know I spread it all over you know and I quickly rolled my lovely pastry I rolled it gently with the parchment paper of course when you're rolling it you need to be careful because if you're not careful my friends you're gonna break it and when it breaks you're gonna ruin it and that's why my friends I say the best time to roll your lovely Swiss roll is when it's out from the oven you quickly do it when it's hot to roll it but when it's cool my friends it's gonna break so you don't roll your Swiss roll when it's cool if you do it when it's cool the pastry is already cool and of course when the pastry is cool you know what happens it hardens same with your cake my friends when you're baking a cake if you check out my video i opened I, I uploaded two days ago on carrot cake on live stream you find that when the cake was cooled it was super moist but when it's cooled down it became a little bit hard so that's what happens to pastries cakes or whatever when they are hot they are soft when they are cool they become hard so that's why you need to roll your pastry when it's cold. If you roll it when it's cool, my friends, you're gonna win it.
So what I did, I rolled it when it was hot, and I had a lovely roll together with it. You know, you roll it together with the baking paper. Of course, we don't use cling film on this one. If you check out my coconut roll I made, I use cling film on that one because I added some coconut, you know, grated coconut as well, I added cheese. So, you know, cheese lost fridge. So that's I added the cheese, you know. And of course, I pop, pop it in the fridge. But uh, this one is nice and easy. So I'm going to check it now. I think it's almost cool. I rolled it. And of course, I want it cool. So what I'm going to do now, my friends, I'm going to grab uh, uh, I'm going to grab that one now. So what I'm going to do I'm gonna grab my pastry knife straight away. Uh, so I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna check if it's ready. You can see too much of jam. So so you can see it's a lovely roll. That's really nice my friends. You can see my friends. It looks really nice, my friends. So now, my friend, I'm gonna slice my lovely. Uh, So what I'm going to do, I'll keep slicing. You know, I want to get... So my friends, you can see, you can see the jam in there. So I'm gonna bring it close for you to see. You can see the jam around it. So if I lose it, you're gonna find it. Look at. You can lose it if you like. I'm gonna lose it for you to see. So this is what we're talking about, my friends. It's very nice, nice and soft. You know, look at that. You can see the jam. You know. The jam is right in there. You can see that, my friends. So now, my friends, you can see, you can add more jam if you want. But of course, I'm going to try it. It tastes really nice, my friends. 
absolutely nice, my friend. So my friends, this is strawberry jam. You can top it with um, berries, blueberries, you know. If you like, you can put berries, you know, all over. See, it looks really nice, my friend. So, that's a lovely Swiss roll. Nice and easy to make, my friends. Nice and easy to make. Nice and easy, my friends. There are lots, lots of circles. So many of those, very nice. I have how many slices did I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven slices. You know, when, when you slice your Swiss roll, you're gonna have some excesses. You know, you cut off the excesses so you have a nice, just like your chicken ballo thing or whatever you make. You don't you don't wanna you know cut, you don't wanna add the excesses to yours. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna trim the excesses out, you cut that out. Of course, you want the ones you want the ones at the middle, you know, the nice ones. That's the ones you want, my friends. So it looks really nice, my friends. You see, lots of jam in it. Looks absolutely nice, my friends. I love it. So that one is the SS. You don't want to you don't want to use that one. So that one is the edge. But we have six six good ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven good ones. Very so this is enough for five people. Very nice family of five. Simple recipe: hundred grams of self self raising flour, hundred grams of unrefined brown sugar. Of course, my friends, I said you can use any sugar you want, but because I want to use something really healthy, that's why I use the unrefined brown sugar. And of course, my friends, you can use your lovely strawberry jam. Top it on it, roll your lovely Swiss roll, and of course. You're ready to serve. So thank you, my friends, for watching. You can see it's very nice. It tastes really good, my friends. You can see, nice and lovely. I'm gonna try it. Perfect. Nice and perfect, my friend. Simple recipe. So you can enjoy with berries, berries, simple. So my friends, thanks for watching this lovely channel and thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking my videos. So I said my friends, I'm going to end this live stream now, but if you're just joining this live stream for the first time, and of course if you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please do so. Right, click the subscribe button of course, turn on the bell so that I don't miss the latest from Google Chef Francis. I am Francis by name, and of course, this is Google Chef Francis live on YouTube. Make it easy on YouTube. This is my 189 video on YouTube, and of course, I will be making more videos, and I promise to make thousands of videos while you're on YouTube. I'm almost there to 200 videos. This is just 188, 89 video now. So I have only 11 left to get to 200. But I promise to make thousands of videos right on YouTube. Of course, my friends, there are lots of dishes to cook all over the world. So I'll keep cooking, you know, I'll carry on cooking and making, you know, entertaining dishes, informative ones, you know, of course you know nice dishes i'll keep making that all the time my friends no worries my friends love this video 
I send you my friend. Whenever I make online stream, it's for you, my friend. Of course, my friend, this is a live stream. If you just in the live stream, you know, I could just fast forward or something. But everything was done from start to finish. Of course, if you miss the live stream when I started, my friends, you can watch the replay on how I made this lovely Swiss roll or Swiss roll cake. So thank you very much, my friends, for tuning in and watching me live. So my friends, I'm going to go live again in two days time, which is on Saturday. And of course, my friends, I might go live earlier. And now, today, I started a little bit late. It's 4 p.m. I started 4, 4, I think 4 p.m. right here in the UK, 4.30 p.m. right here in the UK. Of course, it could be late in different parts of the world, or it could be in the morning. So I'm gonna make my time earlier on Saturday. You know, so I'm gonna get more people to watch me. Bring your pardon. Yeah, more people to watch me because they should be awake then. But right now some of my viewers are sleeping, so they might not know um you know online. I'm going live. So I'm gonna do that earlier next time on Saturday so keep your fingers crossed my friends for the next video of course I'm not saying what I'm going to be doing but of course it's going to be a lovely dessert as well I'm going to make a lovely dessert again and of course it's going to be absolutely gorgeous and of course absolutely sensational just the way I always make it live on youtube you know my friends i always make it for real and of course i don't lie i always make real things and of course always perfect always nice always super sensational and always gorgeous so my friends i remain francis by name and of course this is cool share francis live on youtube please don't forget to share my videos like them share them on social media you know let other people benefit from this love the channel because keep watching my videos every day watch my playlist watch my videos watch everything share them thank you very much my friends i'll see you on saturday so bye for now and of course don't forget to try to make this lovely switch roll and of course use your favorite jam and garnish with your strawberry if you want or your blueberries or your raspberries you know and that's it my friends you can sprinkle a little bit of icing sugar if you want to. It's a lovely dessert. So see you on Saturday, my friends. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And stay connected to this channel. Bye-bye, my friends. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.